Hello friends, let's start with another chapter of Java which is having uh, two topics, number one comments, number two basic structure of Java programming. Now, first of all comments. My dear friends, comments have nothing to do with the compiler or interpreter. Comments are basically meant for the another programmer once one programmer leaves the company, then next programmer comes and joins the company to inform him what type of program or project he has made and to just for the information purpose, he writes a comment along with the project or program. Now first of all, comments, how many types of comments are there? There are three types of comments, single line, multi-line, and then the documenting comments. Now single line comment will be starting with the double slash. We'll use double forward slash and then we'll write the comment. For example, the forward two slash then program is written by then the programmer name. Now this is known as the single line comment. Second is multi-line comment. It will always be starting with the forward slash, then asterisk, then couple of lines. Multi-lines means two or three lines, then asterisk and then the forward slash. Now, documenting comments are always started with forward slash, then two asterisk sign, then document means full page of comments and then the asterisk sign and then the forward slash. Now these were the three types of comments and the compiler whenever checks that forward slashes come, two forward slashes, it will know that this is a single line comment, then compiler or interpreter has to ignore this particular line of the comment. Second is a multi-line comment. Whenever again compiler checks that, hey, here forward slash and then asterisk sign has come, it means it will be get alerted that this is again something in two, three lines it is written that totally should be ignored by the compiler. Now it will check again that asterisk sign and forward slash, it will ignore this multi-line comment. Now again documenting comment will start with this particular sign, forward slash and two asterisk sign. Now the whole document whenever compiler checks that there again one asterisk sign and then forward slash has come, compiler is going to ignore this full documenting comment which is consisting of one particular full page. Now these were the everything about comments. Now let's start talking about this basic structure of Java program. My dear friends, Java language we all know that it is a very secure language. So everybody uh, wants to write the program in Java if he or she wants the database or its programming or project to be secure. So Java's basic program is here, structure. And this basic structure, if you know, if you understand easily, then you can develop, believe me, you can develop every kind of program by yourself. Now, first of all, my dear friends, you must know that all the Java programs starts with class, public class sample. Here, public is the access specifier. It means this class can be accessed by everyone, everybody. Now, class, class is a keyword and then sample. Sample is the user defined name. Programmer can write any name, but this name should suggest something about the program. What program is doing? Now, since this is a sample program, this is the first basic program, I have given this name sample. So, next, this opening braces will be there. This opening braces tells the compiler that class starts from here. Now second line will be public static void main string args and these two will be the scale brackets and then the closing bracket. 
Now, this whole line is known as declaration of main function. My dear friends, always remember, first of all class and then the function, main function, these two lines are always there in any Java program. So next, this curly braces starts again. Now this curly braces tells that main function starts from here. This is the main function's curly opening bracket. Now, as many of you must have done simpler languages, logo, basic, Pascal, Fortran, and then C, C++. My dear friends, you all know, then you all know that first line is always the declaration statement. Now, in this declaration statement, what do we do? We declare the variables. Now, here we are declaring three variables, number 1, A, number 2, B, number 3, C, all in one line. Have you noticed what I have done over here? In this particular line or statement, we have declared three variables. Apart from that, we have initialized them. We have initialized A variable with 10 value, B variable with 15 value, and C variable with 0 value. Why? Because in C variable, we are going to add two numbers and store in this C variable. Now, this is known as declaration come initialization statement, two in one. We can do these uh, two things in two lines also. I mean two statements also. One statement can only be like declaration statement. We can declare it like that. Int a comma b comma c semicolon. Then we can initialize it again. How can we do that? A is equal to 10 semicolon, b is equal to 15 semicolon, c is equal to 0 semicolon. We can do this one statement in this four statement also. Now the matter is this that in one statement we declare as well as we initialize them. Next statement comes computation statement where we compute, we give the formula, the compiler calculates. Now, here we have written that C is equal to A plus B. Why? Because we want simply compiler to add two numbers and store these two values, I mean one value, in the C variables. Now, simple computation statement C is equal to A plus B. Last statement will be the output statement here, my dear friends, you need to cram this particular line. This is what? This is output statement. System.out.println. System S should always be in capital. The rest, everything is in small cases. Now, system.out.println, this is the output statement. Then, opening bracket. This is a simple opening bracket. And then, opening codes. And then the sum of two numbers, closing quotes, then plus operator, C, bracket close, and then the semicolon. So, this is known as output statement. And whenever we want any message to be printed, it should be written in two quotes, opening bracket, opening quotes, and then closing quotes. Anything written in between these two double quotes will be printed as a message. Now, in output, we will see that the sum of two numbers as a message and then plus operator. Plus operator to bind these two things together. We are binding what? We are binding our output message with the variable, variable value. Whatever answer compiler will store in C will be printed over here as an output. So, output will be the sum of two numbers. Here we can write the sum of two numbers and then the C value. C value will be 25, right? So this was the basic structure of the simplest program in the Java. Rest all the programs will be uh, based on this basic structure. Thank you. Bye-bye.